ITV Evening News presenter Mary Nightingale, 58, has shared that she had to leave her London home with her husband, Paul, due to damage that had occurred over the summer. The move is only temporary. Mary revealed that flooding had caused significant damage, which meant they were forced to leave the family home until repairs have been completed. Mary shares two children, Molly, 19, and Joe, 17, with her husband, Paul Fennick. In a new interview with Radio Times, Mary was asked what the view from her sofa was like and she admitted the view had changed recently. She said, we're not in our West London home at the moment, because it flooded last summer. The journalist and television presenter added that she will be returning home soon despite enjoying their temporary accommodation with the skyline views. She said, we've moved out while it's repaired and the damage is sorted out, so right now we're in a flat with an incredible view, as far as the Shard and the London Eye one way, and Wembley Stadium on the other. It's pretty fabulous. But we're moving back soon. The 58-year-old was also asked how she manages her emotions while presenting the news. Mary has appeared on the news show for over 20 years. Mary explained that it can be hard not to tear up, especially when stories are difficult. She said, I do feel like crying sometimes but I don't think it's helpful. She added that sometimes it is a struggle not to cry on camera. Don't miss, she said, the effort of trying not to cry often makes my voice go. Sometimes she's almost reluctant to continue presenting when there is bad news to share. Mary continued, during the pandemic, while reading out death figures every day and some of the very sad, difficult stories, my voice slightly failed me sometimes, almost like it didn't want to say the words. But it's not about you. The mother of two has been especially moved by the news of the crisis in Ukraine. This story in Ukraine is an absolute tragedy, Mary stated. I can't imagine that anyone is watching and remaining unmoved. Read the full interview in this week's Radio Times.